Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernard from the BTN HD. And yes, let's upgrade our SQL 2008 R2 server to SQL 2012 Service Pack 4. So let's get started. So first things first, I'm going to right click on my start menu, go to run. And within the run command, I'm going to do a WinVER. And my SQL database, my 2008 R2 is running on a Windows Server 2019. Right, it's running in a 2019. Let's upgrade it to something a little bit much better. And uh, I'm going to do like a little mini series. So I'm going to do 2012 first, and then we go to 2012 to 2014, and then 2014 to 2016, and then 2016 to 2019. All right, so I open up my SQL Server Management Studio, and the SQL Server is 10.50.1600. If you right click on your local host or your database and you go to properties you're going to see that the version is 10.50.16.1 uh finding the correct version is extremely important because sometimes you need to do a little research and make sure that you are capable of upgrading to the next uh you know sql database version and but before you even start anything once you you know did your research and you're able to go to the next version of SQL, you have to back up your database. That is extremely important. So find your database. I have a database called BTNHD. Right click on it. You want to go to tasks. Within tasks, you want to click on backup. Within backup, just click OK. By default, it's going to drop it in the default location of your program files, Microsoft SQL Server, and just inside the backup folder. So click OK. If everything goes well, it should say the backup of the database of whatever name your database name is completed successfully. Now, most likely the process of backing up will take some time. Okay, so just be patient. Now, if you go inside that location of where the backup file was dropped into, this is the path. This is the normal path, but you are able to you know, relocate it to something else and you are going to have a BAK file. Okay. And if you also go back up a level within the MS SQL folder, you're going to see a folder called data and just got to make sure you have your log file and your MDF file. So your log file, I believe is I, I think LDF, and then you have your, uh, your database file, which is MDF. I think those are the extensions. Make sure those two files are there because you definitely need them when you're doing the restore. Now, first things first, you need to download your latest version. For me, it was 2012. That's what I'm going to upgrade to. And within 2019, I'm able to just double click on the ISO file. It's gonna mount it for me. I'm gonna double click on the setup file. It's gonna start loading up. Once it loads up, where we want to go is the installation part. Now from here, we're not going to do a new installation, a new standalone. What we want to do is an upgrade from a SQL server. So click on that. It's going to start loading up. It's going to start setting up the support rules. If everything passes, you're able to click on OK. Uh, most likely your ISO already has the product key already embedded. Just click next, accept the license and terms, and then click next. It's going to start doing this again. Once everything is completed, it's going to pass anyway. Sometimes it passes, sometimes it doesn't. But once it passes, click on next. From here, you don't really need to change anything because uh, by default, if you only have one instant, and that's the instant that you want to upgrade. So click on next. This All this right here is going to be grayed out, but this is the stuff that's going to be upgraded for you. Click next. You don't have to touch anything here. Uh, I, I don't recommend you changing this because you want to keep your instant ID the same. If you change it, it's probably going to mess up a couple of things within your infrastructure. Click next, uh, disk space requirement. You should be good to go here. Next, next again, upgrade rules. Now for me, I had a problem. It says SQL Server 2008 R2 service pack one or later is required for the upgrade. So my database 2008 R2 needed to be service pack one or a little higher. So I had to cancel everything and I had to locate my service pack one for SQL Server 2008 R2. Within 2019, I'm able to double click on the ISO and it's gonna mount it for me. You're gonna find your flavor. For me, it was X64. So I right clicked on it, ran it as an administrator. It's gonna start extracting the files. It's gonna start loading up and then just click next. Accept the license and terms, click next again. You don't need to pick anything here. By default, it's going to select your instant that you're going to upgrade to service pack one or whatever service pack you need, right? Click next. Uh, it's gonna check the files and use. Click next again. It's 
going to be ready to update update once everything is done complete it boom close it once you click ok you're going to get a nice little dialog box it's stating that you need to reboot your machine so click on start click on the power button and click on restart and uh, you know pick a drop down and continue now you're going to go back inside your 2012 ISO relaunch the setup continue going until you get to the part right here where it says upgrade rules if you upgraded to the latest service pack like I did you should get all green check marks and that next button should be highlighted to continue so click on it you got a nice little ready to upgrade a uh, little uh, kind of run through of what's going to happen click on upgrade upgrade process took between I would say 10 to 15 minutes pretty fast for me and once everything was completed you should get you should get green check marks all the way click on close click on start when you click on start you're going to see a new folder called Microsoft SQL Server 2012 when you click on it go all the way down and click on your new SQL Server Management Studio now the the management studio for 2008 is still installed I think you're still able to use it to manage your new database use the latest SQL Server Management Studio so I clicked on it it's gonna start loading up you're gonna get this if you want to import the old settings from your old management studio to the new one It's up to you I'm not gonna tell you click yes or no it is really up to you once you pick your answer it's gonna start loading up once it's completed then log into your database and that's it now your new SQL Server database should say a new version it should say 11.0.7001 thousand and one if you right click on it and you go to properties you're gonna see that the version is 11.0.7001.0 thousand and that's it guys hopefully you guys enjoy this video leave comments right below make sure to catch uh, the next part of upgrading the server 2012 uh, to 2014 I'm gonna show you guys how I do the steps all the basic requirements and stuff the number one thing to do is back up your database make sure you back up your database and that's it uh, leave comments right below don't forget about hitting that like button and I catch you guys on the next one peace out